Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is for Valentine's Day. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is apply some moisturizer to the skin. Next, I'm blending foundation into the skin and I'm using a beauty blender for this and I'm not applying a huge amount of foundation here just to even the skin tone out a tiny bit because Liv has gorgeous skin anyway, so we don't need to use much. I'm gonna apply a bit of retoucher underneath the eyes, tiny bit on the forehead and the chin just to brighten up this area a little bit. And I'm a really big fan of the retoucher. It's a really good sort of brightener for the face and it sits really well on the skin. So I'm gonna blend this in with a beauty blender. And again, just making it, you know, really pressing it into the skin so that it actually looks like skin. So you can see that brightening effect. Next, I'm setting the entire face with powder and a puff using RCMA No Color Powder and just patting and pressing this into the skin to lock in the foundation so it doesn't move anywhere. And powdering underneath the eyes with the same powder puff. Taking my number double zero brush, I'm applying bronzer to the outside perimeter of the face. Now, I was gonna give you a really make a party reason for not using blusher, but the truth is I absolutely forgot to put blusher on, but it still looks nice anyway. So highlighted to the cheekbones in Becca Champagne Pop. And applying this right to the C section of the face. But if I was going to use a blusher, I would have used a really bright pink. I just totally forgot. Taking the highlighter down the nose and onto the lip as well. So filling in the brows, this is completely irrelevant because Olivia's brows are absolutely perfect. So there was almost nothing to do here at all apart from extend it ever so slightly. So I'm taking Opal Cream Eyeshadow by Tom Ford with my number 18 brush and applying this to the eyelid and whatever's left on the brush after I've gone over the eyelid, I'm bringing this right the way up to the brow bone. Obviously Liv is very young and has very, very tight skin so this looks beautiful. And I'm just blending this up and out. And the same thing on the other eye. This just gives that real kind of champagne look to the lids and it's really pretty and sort of sparkly. So next I'm tight lining the upper waterline with a black pencil. This just makes the lashes stand out even more when I've got mascara on. So curl the lashes and next will come mascara. So you can see this is a simple look for the eyes. It's really just a wash of color and then some mascara, but it still looks really, really nice. So applying full fat lashes mascara by Charlotte Tilbury here. Okay, so with that complete, we're gonna move on. I'm using Jane Aradell Rose Lip Pencil to outline Liv's lips. And with that complete, I'll then fill in the lips with a lipstick. And I'm going for this really bright sort of fuchsia color with the lipstick and the lip gloss. So I'm just getting the outline first. Then I'm applying the lipstick. And this is Charlotte Tilbury. And this is Velvet Underground. So just, you can see that real beautiful kind of, real strong pink. I'm gonna apply some gloss next, and this is by Chanel, it's 168, uh, 169 by Chanel. Just cleaning up around the lip, and that will complete the look, and you'll see before and after now. So thanks for watching. I look forward to reading your comments. Be nice, and I will see you all soon. Thanks so much, bye-bye. Okay, so click it. You see this? Click my box. Now what, how good an offer is that? That's it, click my box. If you are suffering or have, you know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end and makes your face look, <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it, then click this box, that's, that's me, and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.